Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today I am working on the race trailer, We're making our first big upgrade on it. So we picked this unit up off of Facebook Marketplace last night. I've just cleaned it up with a power washer. It's supposed to be a 13 and a half thousand BTU unit. Came off of a fifth wheel. So we're gonna mount it on top of our race trailer. I got the cover cleaned up as much as I can. This one isn't really perfect for ours, but the price was right on it. It's supposed to go to a duct right here. What I'm gonna do is just, just gonna cut this out right here, this square, and let the air blow straight down and call it good. Maybe deflect it. So it's pretty bare in here. This is just an enclosed trailer, not insulated or anything yet. So where the roof bent is here, we're just gonna pull this out and it should fit right there. And I'm also gonna run some more one by and weld it up a little better and try to get it reinforced pretty good. Eventually then, what we'll probably do is move that roof vent back here to this spot, just weld in some pipe and fit it in there. For right now, we just need to take this out. I have to run into town and get the seal that's gonna go around here on the, on the roof. I'm just gonna run one now in the middle across and then support it. What I have is the next size thicker tubing though than what they have. I'm sure they use the thinnest, flimsiest stuff because they are trying to keep this trailer light, but we're gonna use this just to reinforce it where the air conditioner sets because it is kind of heavy. So now I just gotta cut two to fit, one for each side and then we'll test fit them in and then we'll throw a couple of uh, supports off and we're going to weld as much as we can in the garage and then fit it up in here and then bring the welder out here and then finish it up test fit this a couple hundred times i think i got it just how i want it now it's just tacked together so we're going to pull it out weld fully around these weld the where i slid it to give it the angle it needs to match the others and then we're going to bevel the ends where we're going to weld inside of here. And then we'll bring it back and hopefully uh, get her done. I got everything trimmed to fit. It's not quite perfectly in place. I'm going to have to get some tacks in and get them in place. While we're here with the welder, we're going to go ahead and hit some of the welds that they did that look like crap and try to get them looking a little better and a little stronger. So I got all the welding done. The extra support is in. So you can see from back here, that's what it looks like. So hopefully this gives us the extra support that helps hold this AC up without any problems. I'm gonna go up on the roof now and pop that vent off. So I'm up here now on the roof and we have screws holding the vent in. So I just used my razor blade and cleaned up around them a little bit. And these are this funky eight-sided Torx bit thing. But what also works is a square bit. So we're just going to go get all these out. We're digging them out all the way around here. And then we're going to get this cut out at the seam and pull this vent out. And then we're going to figure out where the gasket is going to go up here for the AC. Then we're going to clean up right where that gasket's going to go and set the gasket down. And then we should be able to set the AC right on top. So I just went around and cut the seam. And then now I've got it just about out. I've just got to cut this front seam. And then at that point, this should just pop right out. So we've got our new air conditioner seal here. What we did is laid it on here and then cleaned up exactly where this is gonna fit. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and take the sticky, the backing off here and stick it down here. 
and then we're going to put a bead of caulk around the outside of it all the way around and then we're going to set the air conditioner right on it. Okay, I ended up getting the seal on and caulked. Brown wasn't my first choice, but it was the only one that I had that was any good. So we got the seal stuck down and caulked around the edges and now we're just going to bring the AC unit up here and set it it on. Not very good light, but you can see we got this in. We got the inside um, bracket in. There's just four five sixteenths bolts that go up into there. Ours was to a ducted one, so this had a plate. So it had a plate over that, but we're not ducting it, so we just cut a hole in the plate so it'll just let the cold air blow down. So we just got to get the wiring in now and we'll be all set. We're going to mount this from the outside right here. It's going to come in, it's going to bolt to the outside. But I want to get it positioned in here. So I'm going to do it with the hole saw right here. And then we'll be able to go around. Hopefully it'll fit right through on the outside. And we'll be able to fasten it down and seal it. Okay, I got my hole cut through the wall here. It doesn't quite line up because I caught the edge of the metal one by one inch square tubing. So I had to shift it over. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more outside here and a little on the top. And then hopefully we can get it. The outside I could not get to cut through with the hole saw. That's why it's so jagged. But I think I do have it now. I used some tin snips and then my wire snips and I think I got it. So I just have to trim a little bit in here now and I should be able to get it to go through. So we're ready to hook up to the plug now. I've got it coming from inside. This one is going to go up to the air conditioner and this is our power strip. So here's what the plug looks like. We're going to hook the white one there. Black one goes there, ground there. And there are screws that you loosen up, push the wire in, and then tighten it up. So we're just going to put the two white ones in the white one, black ones in the black one, ground in the ground. Okay, just slid the wires in, tighten the screws up, and it's all tight. So now we're just going to push it back through, turn it the way it's supposed to go, and then we'll find the screws. So I'm wiring up our cord for the twist lock. So I slid this part on first. Now we're just gonna put these in and tighten them up. Okay, now our twist lock is ready to go. We've got everything ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and hopefully this will bite in and tighten up. Oh, looks like it worked pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get the other two in and see how she looks. Not bad. Okay, I just ran my power line up the wall. We'll tuck that in a little bit better later. Across there, comes across here and goes to the AC unit. Okay, the power wires are in. We just gotta hook up this little frost detector and wire up the thermostat. Okay, it's plugged in in the box down there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect the twist lock and see what happens. Okay, we got power in here. That's awesome. I'm trying to figure out how to wire up the thermostat. Not real helpful. Two wall thermostat. Okay, we'll check the interwebs and see if we can find something. It's been a while since I've done anything with this AC unit wiring, so I'm not sure where, exactly where I left off. But I got this from the RV place, and I can't get the thing to run the thing. I was able to find a thermostat on Amazon that has what I think I need. It has your power going in to your cooling unit, which would be your compressor. A high fan, a low fan, and a ground. And we can do that. So I can run my... I've got enough wires up there to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. Okay, I've got everything hooked up pretty good except for the power I've just got temporarily hooked up as you can see there. And I didn't get the 
heat shrinks on the freeze detector yet. So we're just gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna pop this faceplate on and see what happens. Okay. She lit up, but um. Okay, so I finally just gave up on messing with a the thermostat with this thing. So what I did was I just wired in a switch. So it's just a sim uh, simple rocker switch right here. And we always run the AC on low. Anyway, it's got two speeds, just a high and a low. And we just always have it on the low speed and then just leave it on. So. So it seems to work out just fine like that for us. So that's what, what I'm going to do for now is just leave it like this. And uh, I'm just sick of working on it. So I'll just hit the switch and it comes right on on low. And it's actually a decent amount of cold air coming out on low. So right now it, it's a not quite enough, but I think once I get some insulation here, once I get some uh, styrofoam up and get this thing insulated a little bit so it's not just like a tin can, it should, uh, I think it'll be great. And here's a preview of another project that I'm working on. Uh, we wanted, we kind of wanted to have a more comfortable bed in here. So I've been working on a frame. I'll have another video, hopefully, um, when I get this completed for you. But yeah, I had to build it high enough that the quads can still slip under it. And then I can also slide it forward here when I have a car in here. So. Yeah, that's another project we're working on right now is this.